Sizemore in the Cray character at all? I mean, I mean well, I'm vain. Do you get your believe nails done? No, I don't do that. I mean, I should. Maybe. Do you cook? Not really. Do you clean? <laughs> Not, I mean, if I have to, <laughs> right. I clean my room. <laughs> I clean my area. Uh -huh. um, um, but I'm, I'm vain. Yeah. I don't cook, nor do I clean, nor do, do I. I don't cook, nor do I clean. What else do you say? Um, do you have style? Do you have taste? No, no, no. Yes, you cook, definitely like, do. Cook cleaning and whatever. Cook, clean, cooking, cleaning, keeping your room clean, all that stuff. No, I don't, I don't do any of that. I don't. But um, I'm vain insofar as, um, you know, whatever, yeah. yeah so did you put Tom Craig, Sizemore Craig, Craig in the Craig character? Craig, Craig wants to look a certain way, and I want to look a certain way. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, my, stuff, my clothes aren't an accident. But I do have my, my, you know, my actor uniform, I call it. It's, it started when I was auditioning. You know, Mm -hmm. The medium of the road, middle, middle of the road shirt, mm -hmm. the motorcycle boots, and the nose pendants I used to wear mm -hmm. loafers. Did you um, put um, Tom Sizemore in Craig well, at had, all I in had, a couple I of had, lines? I had. What did? Oh, the, the making of the improving stuff. Yeah, no. Did you did oh, you feel like, that you were? Um, I wish my life were more lighthearted, and it will become so as the time goes on. But um, yeah. um. Craig, Tom's not as nice as Craig. <laughs> <laughs> just quite Craig nice is thing. very nice. He's such a sweet, <laughs> sweet Craig, heart. Craig does this. I'm doing this now. Yeah, right. <laughs> See? <laughs> Actually, a little I, bit I of said, Craig said, went on to Tom I Sizemore. Some, I said something true and I got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Tom Sizemore's not as nice as Craig. <laughs> so uh, it was a pretty quick shoot, wasn't it? I just feel, I, and I can't believe we did it in nine days. Yeah. It's as fast as right. I've ever gone. Yeah. We just warm it up in a big studio booth. Exactly. Anyway, it was cool. I feel that our um, our scenes together really clicked. I really did. I mean, it was just. Well, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything bad about our you scenes. You jumped right or in. Or me. Or it, was, <laughs> it was. It was unbelievable. I thought they were great. Yeah, they were. Thank you. They um, were. You I'm were glad so. You so. I mean, you had me crying. I was. I. Well, I thought the comedic scenes worked too. They were nice. It was nice. It was nice. Susan was extremely good. She was awesome. The th really. The three of us together. Three of us together were really, yeah. really good. Karen was. You know, the marching thing was. I wasn't feeling my best. I did a scene in the movie where I actually, after the fourth <laughs> take, I, I threw up like my kidneys. It felt like. Um, and Karen, Black, um, who's the other, one of the other stars of the movie, was. <laughs> Started singing New York, New York, <laughs> in this like small enclosed space. Right, and, and poor we're, we're dancing and stuff. <laughs> and we don't even have any, I don't have any lines. It's really awful. I have to big space, like a like a little little stage play. And yeah. she's going, "That's my kind of town." I'm cut. I'm like, oh my God, I'm losing my mind. I'm, I'm, I was turning green. He was. And I was just, you know, when you just want something to be over. <laughs> but I had enough in me to go. Okay, I have to do it. Okay, we're ready to do it. Action. Right. And, I, and then. Cut. No, y'all. I mean, like, I just want to rap. <laughs> and he kept saying, "Mimi, my stomach, my stomach's not good." Um, and and we had to do these dancing scenes where we were just true. beginning to fall in love, and it was so sweet and so wonderful, and we absolutely pulled it off. But but you know, when when the director yelled "cut," it was just a whole different thing. Oh, my stomach and Karen. La! <laughs> what was she, she singing? Karen, Sound of Music Karen, stuff. Karen, Karen, Karen's living in her own world. Karen is she fabulous. Is she, she's own. unbelievable. Uh, I mean, she really, I, would, I, I got her vibe. Finally got her. She's a, and she's like a great sweet, singer. She really sweet, is. Oh, she's a good singer. She loves she's singing. Wonderful. But um, I finally got her vibe in the, for the scene in the closet, and I, I just, I, I was. Not they have a closet scene. I wasn't at odds Ding. with her, but I, I, I saw what was great about her and, and as an actor and as a person, and um, but you know. She's sometimes not con conscious of. <laughs> she can be really. <laughs> sometimes it can be construed as like, she doesn't know how to be social. She's like, you know, like, hey, how are you? She, you know, you go, fine, you. She goes, you and I, and then <laughs> yeah, I didn't really ask all that. <laughs> you know, how are you? Do you really want to know? <laughs> and then start. Um, um, I really ended up enjoying her. her. She was great. And the scene with Connie Stevens, Karen Black. I mean, it, it, Tom Sizemore. You know, Alfonso Freeman, myself, it was just, it was just so, it was so I, I was honored to actually be, you know, in the room it, with, you know, such greats and such talent and, you know, to have. Are my teeth white? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> it's really important to me. Yeah. <laughs> and I had to kiss Tom. Whoa, his teeth were way white. It was really fun. I, I, like, I like kissing girls. I don't have a problem. It was good. And then he slapped me, bang, right on the ass, and I'm like, woo! As Craig. <laughs> As Craig. <laughs> he became manly. They were brat. <laughs> so there you go. I knew you put some Tom Sizemore in there. <laughs> no, no, not a slap. No, no, I, I, I don't really slap. I'm not whatever. <laughs> whatever. I mean, because but Tom the kissing Sizemore. Girls part I liked. Yeah, Tom Sizemore. Uh, you, you jumped just, on me. I did. I did. I and, I've never had that happen. It was really cool. And you know what? Craig <laughs> is such a different character. You played him so funny. How about uh, the scene where we were down and. Uh, and you, be, you were like, okay, being real manly, all right, we're on the field now, and you know, we're crouching down, and you were as as if you were a Marine too. Remember that scene? Yeah, I remember, but you did it yesterday, I think. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was that bad. That like was really like, funny. It was like every scene was yesterday. <laughs> we went so fast. Tom is such Thanks. a great, uh, uh, he's a great artist at improv -ing. He really is, he's unbelievable. I am good at, I need a, I need a good, I need a, I need a, I need a story though, I need a strong character. And, um, I actually am. I, I wrote a screenplay, which uh, I might get produced, but it had to be rewritten. Like, it was. I'm not. I don't know. I don't know how to construct them. I don't know how to how the rising action, the character development. You know what I mean? I'm, there's a there's a way to do this. There's a form almost. But what I am good at is, if I have a strong character, a strong script, I'm able to use that and get a kind of a kickoff point and we call it improving or whatever. But it's all coming at an outgrowth of the character in, in the script. It's. I don't try. I don't try not to deviate too far afield. From the story, mm -hmm. it's usually just flushing out character, or doing something that's funny. Because in the end, we're entertainers. You know, they call exactly. it actors or for whatever. But at the end of the day, I mean, <clears throat> I, I'm an entertainer. I, I want to entertain you. Mm -hmm. And uh, good entertainment makes people, you know, for that time they're in the theater or the movie theater. When I was a boy, going to the movie theater was an incredibly big deal. You could forget that you were, whatever, you know, living in the projects or, you know, not doing well in school and you're grounded for the summer. It happened to me, believe it or not. <laughs> And, uh, um, <laughs> but the movies were um, important in my life because they're, they're entertaining. And a really entertaining movie will let you all of a sudden you're in that world and you care about those people. And uh, at the end of the day, that's why I think we're all doing trying that's to be right. entertained. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and, uh, some movies get taken, the whole thing can be taken too seriously. You know, it's, it's just entertainment, mm -hmm. but it's really important. That's why I think Double Duty, this movie, is really important to me and to you know everybody who's in this movie is. I, I really wanted a light-hearted, fun, you know, go-lucky kind of movie out there because a lot of people have, you know, so much stress in their daily really? life. I wouldn't, you know, I right? Wouldn't, I wouldn't exactly. about that. And, and, <laughs> and I think, you know, people nowadays just want to see... Life being stressful or see, a lot of pressure on you? <laughs> yeah. And I think people novel, nowadays really movie. would like to see something that is fun and light-hearted and, and uh, to play these characters, you know, somebody who was so sweet and so... Vain and and my character gets hypnotized and this badass and 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 you know the the sweet what what did you call me the oh she's so tender delicate yeah creature. delicate little flower isn't she a delicate little creature <laughs> that was very funny <laughs> you know I think it's fun and and I'm hoping that the audience who sees this movie. We'll have a is tear. Large, is large. I'm you know, is large, right? Me too. <laughs> I, I hope that.